Hey guys, Marcus here. I welcome you in Easier with AI. And in this video, I decided to share with you on how you can build your own CRM system with no code tools, without programming, just with the AI. So down below in the description is going to be a link. When you're going to click on it, you will get right here to base 44. And base 44 is going to allow you to build full CRM platform without needing to uh, connect it to like various databases because everything is going to be uh, under base 44. Now, the first thing what I encourage you to do is first chat with ChatGBT what you want to actually have there. Like what is important for your work, for your business and specify to ChatGBT. So you're going to come here to ChatGBT and you're going to write like, okay, let's say I'm a real estate agent and hey there i'm a real estate a agent and i want to build for myself personal crm i have no code tool that it will do it for me now i need you to build to build me a structure like what i will need to have there so I will need to have contacts and then also leads, pipeline, edits. Okay, so you want to chat and you want to give it like structure, what it needs uh, to have there. Okay, so do you see what is happening right now? And this is what we're gonna do is that we are going to uh, put this to base 44. And I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to paste it. <laughs> That's how simple it is. Okay, so I'll take here. I'm going to write here. And if you want, you can even add a, like a styling instructions. You have some ideas here uh, that let's say you want to have like Google design or you want to choose your own colors. I want you to build me a CRM for real estate. So uh, here I'm sending you uh, the important categories and uh, this is where we're going to start. So it's going to generate it based me on this and then we're going to continue. First, you want to know what you want to actually have there. So you see right here that it's building and what is really great, this is just like my first attempt for it. Maybe you're not going to like the colors, maybe you're going to like something or you want to do it um like completely new way that's fine now the first kind of like this building takes uh, the longest what is important to say is that base 44 is amazing if you want to use it as like just you or like separate people are going to have access to their own crm so there is like i will show you on a on like this on a mirror that, what do I mean by that while it's working right now? So let me show you. Okay, so let's say you have a project and you have like multiple accounts working on it and have access to that one project. This is where base can have a little bit of issue. You can you can figure it out, but it's a, it's a no code. So if you don't know how to program, I don't know how to program. This is something that will be a little bit difficult for me. But if you're going to have it like this, so you are like alone and you're working your own personalized CRM, it's perfect. But let's say you have your own CRM and you have multiple people, right? And those multiple people got access to the same CRM, but they got like their own account they are managing. In this way, this is amazing. This is like very good and it can, it can, it can work. I tried it, for example, for the journaling uh, app for trading and it worked well. So uh, this has been my experience that this is good, but this is not that great. Now it's still creating, so we're going to wait and then we're going to get to it, how it's going to look like. And look at that, here we got it. So <laughs> how simple was that? Now here, as you can see, we have the dashboard where you're going to find the contacts, the leads, the pipeline value, the properties, tasks today, active deals. And I can click to contacts. 
where as you can see you will start finding a little bit of like things that weren't done well so for example here on the contacts on the top right so let me just like write here the uh, this part here magnifier or how it's called okay so here you can see that we need to change that so what you want to do right now is just write the point the things that aren't right and for example right here i can't open the the contact so first i can't open the contact please correct it let it be opened now when i'm going to click so i actually like testing out right also uh Oh, wow. no, 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 I didn't want to have it. Okay, I can open the the buttons on the contact and everywhere needs to have white text because they are not visible. Okay, and now you just can like, this is something I did with the trading platform. I go slowly. Okay, leads, leads are not working at all okay this is something that can also happen that it didn't implement this also let's deals deals two are not done and now when we're gonna go further let's go with property so it's on it only did uh the context and dashboard so properties are not done too okay and now we're just gonna wait and this is what you're gonna do is that you constantly just gonna tweak what wasn't done and you're just gonna add it more to it and you're just gonna wait until you start to work on it now when you're gonna come here to workspace uh, you will find here the users so you're gonna have the, the email the role and everything then you're gonna have the data here contact etc so you can like delete it because right now we have the dummy content right there you're gonna have the analytics like data about unique users top users and then you're gonna have the domain here where you can connect the domain but you need to have like account for it you need to pay for let me show you right here manage billing I think for custom domain into like $50 a month, but you can have like a lot of messages and a lot of integration credits. And that's good. And now let's go back to, to what we've created. And now it's still going to do right now. Look at that. You just have to wait until it's going to do and it's still not yet done so let's just wait here and this is what you're going to continue doing now what can happen is that let's say that you want to have because right now it's going to be this the tool is going to be visible to everyone what you want to do and what you want to achieve is that you want to have for every single user is going to be their separate CRM software. Let's say you want to do it for your own employees in a custom way. Uh, that way you need to again write it that it's going to help you. Now again, I'm not a programmer and this is something that I like to do, just like build stuff with this kind of like no code because the AI is like in insane. And look at that, here we got it. For contacts, it's changed the text to white now I can open the uh, contact to edit it. I can even search here. You can even write to contacts. Like let's say that I want to uh, let me not have only in Kanban, but let me switch it to list the contacts like the table, you know, because right now now it's like in Kanban style okay now we're gonna come to leads and again you're gonna look at it so you're gonna have the new the the contacted and you can like again you want to like edit it and again you see some something happened here see and these kind of things that you have we have like constantly tweak 
and and change because it created like this and I can like move it if I want to. And again, you're going to have the list view. List view is not here. And if I want to, I can add lead. Right. But again, I need to change this. Okay. When I open the, the lead, it shows me how it's called transparent table that is hard to see. Like it's not very visible. Transparent. That I have to feel like lead name etc. Make it black with white text. Sometimes I just like my English is not good. So what I do is that I just like I don't know the form, it's called form. When I open it, it shows me transparent things. Transparent background on form. Form and it's hard to see. Please fill it with some color. Okay. Okay, so that's for. Okay, and add and add list view. Now we're going to come to deals. And for the deals, again, we got like similar thing here, but let's see, I can add a deal here, but you can also like, okay, uh, I want to have option to give me option to customize mm, the leads pipeline with the deals pipeline. Look at that. Okay. And properties. Oh, these are like the properties that I can add. Again, the properties form. Properties form also background is transparent. Color and let's go for the tasks. See and add tasks. There are two because right now the tasks category is not visible and nothing is there see and this is what i do constantly i just like see the issues and i just write to repair it and if it does repair the way that i want i need to change the wording and if something happens that it just like um if something happens that that it's just not good and it's wrong that you can't really fix it it's completely fine to start completely new thing but you ha have to identify quickly and then you, as I mentioned, if it's going to use multiple people, you want to say that, okay, we're going to have like multiple people here. And for those uh, people, you want to have like separate account. This is something that we can also do. And now again, we're going to wait. Okay. So the update has been done and look at that. So for the contacts, we can have right now the list view. Oh, which is amazing. Look at that. And then you're going to have the leads here. Okay. But for the leads, I want to have the option to, to rename the leads. So maybe we can have it like. Oh, look at that. It changed the form too. So that's very good. That's very good. And then for the leads, we're going to have the deals here. The same thing. We can like probably change that. Okay. Wait a second. It clicked away. So even this, and this is what you want to do is pretty straightforward. Then you want to just like publish it or you can buy the domain. I can make a video on it, on how to do it. Now oh, I need to scroll a little bit. Yeah, I can have it like that and I can add a deal here. The form is great. And I want to have the option there too. So I can even add a property. Okay. And let's check the tasks here. See, we can have like tasks here. Oh my God. That's good. Okay. So I just want to make this like quick video, how we can create the, for you, the CRM software. You can of course like add more things here, but as you can see, it's insane. Like this is a game changer. This is so good. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to publish it. And you're going to publish the app 
and it's going to open the base 44 app for you and uh, this app is primarily for um, like you can like create account and just like start using it and if you can have any questions let me down below in the comments and of course like I, I write also newsletter you can have a link down below which is going to go called like easier with AI where I share stuff and things like how we the AI can make our lives easier to make the, the things for us right so thank you very much for watching hoping great day and goodbye